Hey everyone, I wanted to take just a moment to show you how to use the countdown slides that you can use as like a wait screen for your students um, as you were doing your virtual meetings. Uh, basically, when you open your file, you will see that I have listed just a brief how to use slide. Um, I've also included the fonts that I used in the headers. Here are your materials. Here are your materials that you can include in your slide if you choose to, to, um, to use that one. And then I just want you to notice that I have included three minute timers and there are multiple different templates to choose from. So if you want to just go ahead and use the ones that are pre-designed for you and that have the timers in there, have the expectations, materials. Basically, this part is going to be going to be editable for you, and you can type in your expectations, and then you can type in your materials. Or what I like to do is actually go up to the materials slide, and let's say for this lesson, my students need a whiteboard marker um, and their personal whiteboard. So I'm going to go over to the little whiteboard marker. I'm going to right click that, go to copy, and then go back to my slide. And I'm just going to right click and paste that in there. And it is pretty small, so you can resize these. And then I'm going to take that out. I'm just going to delete that out of there. So we've got a whiteboard marker. And then they also need their whiteboard. So I'm going to copy that and then paste it into the slide that I want to use. Now if you want, um, you know, there are, are a lot of different whiteboard markers out there. So if you are concerned that they are not going to know what this is, um, or even if you just want to use this one, you can, but you can go to insert text box and you can just say whiteboard and whiteboard marker. So this one could actually be used as both if you would want to do that, or you can just choose to use the materials. So that is how you're gonna add the materials to your slide. I suggest copying this slide, so copy, and then just pasting it into a new slide. Um, that way it just keeps you organized so when you are like quickly trying to do your meeting with your kids you don't accidentally open the wrong slide but it's really up to you but when you're going to use this for your virtual meetings you can just go up to file and present or i'm sorry you're going to go to slideshow and play from current slide now this timer is not going to start by itself which i find beneficial because i can go ahead and have this ready and then when there's about three minutes left, I can just come over and push the play button. So this will be as a shared screen for your students so they can see exactly what the expectations are for the day, um, as well as the materials they will need. And then they will see that in about three minutes, you will be logging on and the class will start. As an alternative, if you do not want to do three minutes, so I'm going to exit out of this. If you don't want to do three minutes, if you prefer to give them more time to gather their materials, you will see that I've included all of those slides uh, with five minute timers. I've included eight minute timers, and then I have included 10 minute timers as well. So one thing else that I would like to show you is there are different templates included. So maybe you don't want to tell them the expectations every time, or maybe you don't want to show them their materials every time. Maybe they don't need any materials or you use everything virtually. Um, we also have one that is set up for expectations and then your agenda. So if you want to include your agenda for the day, you may do that. And then I've included one that has all three. So you have expectations, agenda, and materials. And then I've included blank ones here. So you could actually use these in your uh, in-person classes. Um, maybe your students come in and you want to put the materials they need here and then maybe the target of the day. Or maybe there's three things that you want to let them know. 
Or maybe you want to use this as like a bell ringer or a morning message. Um, so you have about three minutes until your class is going to start. Maybe you're going to put good morning and you can put like the question of the day or you can put like a funny um, um, meme here. Uh, or you can put materials they will need or directions like make sure you put everything into your cubby. So really the options on these because I did include some blank ones, the options are endless if you choose to use these during virtual learning. Once we do get back into the classroom, um, I just want you to know that you can use these in class as well.